So did you know that Midjourney can actually create logos? Now I'm not talking about like a full brand with a vector style logo package that you can use for your business, but it is a great place to start if you're looking for some inspiration for logos or if you're just looking for a simple image you can use for social media or your YouTube channel or something like that. So here's how it works. So I've been pumping out a few logos here to test this out and uh, it's actually, especially with version four, it's actually pretty good. Now I do recommend if you want the best, I would go slash settings and just turn on MJ version four. But it's pretty simple. You can start off really basic. So let's say we want to do a logo with a turtle in it. We can just say turtle logo and see what results that Mid Journey comes back to us with. So that's not bad. It's not really a good brand logo, but if you're say it's good for gaming and gaming logos that sort of thing but uh, it's pretty cool it's an emblem now the text you can't use but it is a nice starting point something you can work with or even use as inspiration for logos or you can simply cut out elements and use it but it doesn't have to be this style of logo you can also add in some other words so let's say something like clean minimal list emblem for a plumbing business maybe we say vector logo since if you're not sure what vector is it's a type of file that is usually associated with so sort of like images you can scale and it's perfect for use with logos so a clean minimalist emblem for a plumbing business vector logo and we can see what results that brings up and continue to play until we get what we want and then check this out much cleaner looking and especially if you're a graph designer this is not a bad way to get an idea for some layouts now a lot of graph designers do prefer much simpler logos so this isn't necessarily going to suit most people but it is an option worth considering but you can also not just simply go with uh, the description i can do something like if you understand different logo types or things such as letter marks so if i said g e letter mark logo and try that now we have a logo that is focusing on the letters g and e it seems to have focused mostly on the g in these examples but uh, you can see basically how that works now once again we can take something like a ge letter mark logo and we can say simple black and white vector emblem and we can try to further simplify it so we can say basic uh, low detail smooth put things like that in there to describe how we want to dial it back so I'd now try the same one with those added properties and now you can see you can see just how much simpler the logos have become and you can then continue to remix refine and see what you get from there so let's just uh, look a little bit into some logo types and what kind of results you can get now you can easily create things such as emblems or you can try an abstract logo you can do something such as a word mark logo a letter mark logo or even a mascot logo or if you're a gamer a 3d gaming logo any way you can describe do a bit of research on logo types that you like or uh, think you can describe and just punch those into mid journey and get some pretty cool results Keep in mind, you're not really going to be able to use these logos straight off the bat. You're going to have to at least edit them, or even better, if you want to have a proper logo that's a vector file that's scalable, you're going to have to either recreate it in Adobe Illustrator or something like that, or pay a graphic designer to go from there. But inspiration, it is great for, and also, like I said, if you've got mascots that don't have any text, it could be great for gaming logos or ID photos for uh, social media. But uh, essentially, it's not something that's a solution for getting you a logo. It's really just something to help give you some inspiration and help get you over the line. So uh, check it out. Have a play with it. See what logos you can get mid-journey to come up with. Otherwise, if you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like. And thanks for watching. I hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.